Welcome to the channel PK2023. Hope everyone has a good time watching our videos. Bright future for England as under 21s conquer Europe thanks to James Trafford heroics. Gareth Southgate in the stands to see mature youngsters keep another clean sheet, beat Spain and grab Euro glory for first time since 1984. England under 21 players raced towards James Trafford at the final whistle at Batumi Stadium. He went into the European Championships after a season in League One but will fly back from Georgia as a Premier League number one and a hero after his stoppage time penalty save sealed the first triumph in 39 years. Trafford looked like he would concede his first goal of the Euros when Spain were awarded a penalty with seconds remaining after Abel Ruiz was fouled by Levi Carwell. But the 20-year-old, who will head to Burnley after the tournament, saved Ruiz's spot kick and got up to save the rebound from Amor Oroz. It was the defining moment of the final but the winner came with a slice of fortune. Great things are expected of the class of 23 their goal came deflected off the back of Curtis Jones as the Liverpool midfielder crouched down in front of the defensive wall, diverting Cole Palmer's free kick. Lee Carsley's young players joined the likes of Mark Hadley, Steve Hodge and Mel Sterland as winners of the tournament from when England had previously won in 1984. Gareth Southgate was watching on from the stands and he will have seen a positive future for the senior team, not least with their goalkeeper. Some of these players are almost ready for the step up. Steve Holland, Southgate's assistant, was at Nottingham Forest's training ground and watched Morgan Gibbs-White, who has looked every inch a senior player in a youth tournament in England's games. Carwell has already had a taste of the seniors, as has Emil smith -Rowe. In this game they showed streetwise maturity to see off the tournament's top scorers. They were as adept at the dark arts as the Spaniards who were deep-rooted in clever game management. When it mattered, they had the skill level that Trafford showed to finish off the job. England's feeder team last reached the final of this tournament in 2009 when they were thrashed by Germany, who had six players who went on to win the World Cup. The under-21s have been through tournaments since where progress was difficult to see. A.D. Boothroyd calling it the utterly impossible job but this shows what a golden generation of youngsters England currently have. Players were jubilant at the final whistle after six matches were kept clean sheet after clean sheet. It was their defense again, led by Caldwell and then Trafford, who kept Spain at bay to seal the, the triumph. After a cagey first half, the final burst into life with Jones fortuitous opening goal sparking the ugly mass brawl that also involved both benches. Palmer was the creator of the opener, drawing a foul from Manchester City teammate Sergio Gomez on the edge of the area to give himself side of goal. Spain players were focused on Gibbs White, who shaped to shoot at goal, but it was Palmer who struck towards the net. The set piece ricocheted off Jones back as he ducked in front of the defensive wall, with Arnaut and his totally wrong footed on his goal line. Palmer celebrated in the direction of the benches, enraging the Spaniards who confronted the city forward. Pushing and shoving between the players and staff was separated but Ashley Cole was sent to the stands, his first England red card after 107 caps as a player. If you know Coley, his emotions definitely run high, said Sean Wright Phillips, the former under-21 winger covering the match as Channel 4's pundit. There was barely anything between the teams before that point. England had started brightly by getting Anthony Gordon on the ball, with the Newcastle forward having a shot saved when he ran through, then almost setting up Gibbs White with another run behind the Spanish defence. But the Spaniards, winners of three out of the previous six tournaments, eased their way into the game and were ruining missed opportunities including a Torpedo's free header, which was neither well directed or placed into the path of a teammate. After the interval they found the net through Abel Ruiz's header but he had strayed just offside when he met Gomez's free kick. The reaction to the VAR check brought as much disgust as conceding Jones' goal. Jones raced through midway through the second half and almost netted an excellent, more orthodox goal. As Spanish defenders backed away, Jones headed towards the penalty area and his shot was well directed but parried away by Barcelona goalkeeper Tenas. Palmer was overjoyed at the end hoping it sets them up for more glory in the future. It means a lot. Obviously I've been working hard over the past few years for this moment and it has come so we're buzzing, the match winner said.
I don't know about the goal to be honest. When I went down and got the free kick I just thought to score. It was lucky but you create your own luck, don't you? I was a bit frustrated with the game, they were going down and screaming. So when we scored, the celebration might have been a bit over the top but I'm just happy. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe channel, comment and sharing our videos.